Marco! Ciao! <laughs> Have you heard of Jane Miller? from Corby, Northamptonshire. I've never heard of it. OK, well, I have been in her lovely home in Corby and I've raided her freezer without her knowing. She's here holidaying on the cruise and we are going to serve her own food back to her. So you've turned into a food thief. So let me show you what I've managed to Ooh. source. Right, we've got some spicy... She's written on a spicy soup. There you go. Spicy... Spicy with an... With an E. Spicy. Spicy. How would you present a soup, though, in, in a Michelin in star restaurant? In a bowl. Restaurant? Brilliant. <laughs> so, <laughs> genius. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Oh. Shepherd's pie, an absolute classic. Heartland dish. Um, I'll open that up. Edible. Nutritious. Delicious. Brilliant. Mm. I think it'll present well. And then finally, dessert. I've managed to whip out of her freezer a lovely bread and butter pudding. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge, but we'll see ultimately how she reviews her very her own, own food. food. <laughs> you deal with the food, okay. I'll sort the room out. Take care. Here we are at the cruise ship Fine dining restaurant. Isn't it spectacular? And of course, we've rigged the whole place up with cameras. So there's a camera up here. Hello. Jane is going to be led to her table. She'll be sitting here with her daughter, Laura, where her own food will be served to her, plus a few extra surprises. So as the restaurant is filling up with actors posing as diners, it's time for Jane to arrive. Oh, and there hanging up in the restaurant is the painting I stole from her bedroom. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to Epicurean. Thank you very much. Let service commence. Jane, you probably remember in your own home, just outside it, is a bush. Well, I took some clippings from that bush and, well, they've made it all the way over here. So this has all been um, chopped from your bush. So what we're going to do is we've selected the very best ones for you and we're going to pop it either side of your spicy soup, which is now entitled Velouté of Spiced Autumn Vegetables. It's not a soup after all, it's a velouté. Now, what's going on top there? Be careful. A little coconut milk. And coconut milk, I'll allow, I'll allow I'll allow it. Should, we should just set up a little bit of this, spring, make it look nice spring. for the garnish, for the presentation, it. so Got she doesn't think it's her little dish. OK. And we put this on to disguise. There we are. Service, my friend. So Jane's spicy soup has been heated up and renamed Velouté of Spiced Autumn Vegetables with a side of bush. Ladies, that's the first course, the Velouté of Spiced Autumn Vegetables. Thank you. You've got a spicy soup there. Enjoy. Thank you. Jane has now picked up a cutting of her bush and she smells it. It's, it's been there anymore. for years. Yeah. It's, it's the smell she wakes up to. It's, it's the not... smell she's on the way to work. She likes it. you got some on your chin. Oh, a little bit. There you go. And the taste? What do you think? Gorgeous. <laughs> First bite of soup, she went gorgeous. Right? So she loves her own soup, but then now she's come back with could do with a bit more kick. A bit more spice. Mm. A bit more spice, eh? Spice, eh? <laughs> Thank you. I hope you'll enjoy the soup. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I also took from your wardrobe these absolutely beautiful, fetching blouses. What I'm going to do is ask these two lovely ladies to put on Jane's clothes and we'll see if she notices you're actually going to sit on the table next to her. OK, there you go. So it's all right, pop, the, pop those on over the top. OK, Josh, would you please seat these lovely ladies in Jane's clothes? <laughs> Thank you. 
two behind you on the road that's got my top on. And then he's in my two on the road that's got my top on. Well done, Jane. Though I'm not sure she's realised they are her own clothes from her wardrobe. So what's next? Oh no, we've got beef. Now this is very much... A ragout de Dexter. Ah, yes. Otherwise known as... Shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie, of course it is. Right, I'm going to follow your lead. OK, so little... Just make little, little pyramids. So this is all Jane's mash. Yeah. There we are, my friend. When you bake it in the oven, it starts to relax. Service! Jane's shepherd's pie is now ragout of Dexter beef, pomme purée. <laughs> Yeah, that tastes like shepherd's pie. I do. You did, Jane. You did. Not the specimens, but to me, it's me. When I'm going to attempt something, I'm going to say very risky. When I went round to Jane's house, I saw an ornament of her pride and joy. And, oh, he's very cute, isn't he? So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this ornament that I found in your conservatory in Corby. What do you think, Mark? I think you should go there. Yeah. So Milo sits on a cake for a fake birthday on the table next to Jane. Shaping the bread and butter pudding. It's, better already, isn't it? it's amazing what a cut it does. That is amazing. Jane's bread and butter pudding is now pain perdu à la crème anglaise. Served to her by the restaurant's brand new waiter. Marco, I'm, I'm heading out. I can't laugh because this moustache is only just glued on. This is the most nervous I've been for a while. <laughs> Now that is special. Yeah. And that deserves to be in there. Yeah. Now it's the end of the meal. Here comes Marco to see what Jane thought of her own food. I love your tops. Oh. My daughter's like. But tell me, where'd you get this? Enjoy your lunch, ladies. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? How are you? Lovely menu. You're looking very elegant. And tell me, how was lunch? It was just great. The ragu of Dexter, what did you think? I thought, although it was nice, I would have it on a Wednesday night at home. Midweek? Yes. Yeah. A midweek meal. Midweek supper. Really? Thank you. So have you helped cook this? Okay, cheers. Well, I've been I mean... sweating my fingers to the bone for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Lovely Take to care. meet have you. Nice. Thank you. Bye. Hello there. You're right. I just said to him, did you help out in the kitchen? It's like saying to the captain, did you help steer the ship? 
<laughs> so, Jane, I don't think for a moment you had any idea what was happening to you. I literally need to get off this ship. Enjoy the rest of your holiday. I've got to get this back into your house. I've got to get the dog back to your house. I've got to get the picture back on your wall. I'm heading back to Corby. <laughs>